Okay, so you guys have seen these reverse canvas things. I'm going to move the camera so you see less of me and more of what I'm doing here in a little bit. I have not done this. We're gonna try it as we go along. And I'm not very good at reading comments. So if anybody comments, there's a good chance I might not see them. I'm just gonna go along and see what happens. And here we go. I'm gonna put the camera down and let you guys see what I'm doing so you don't see me so much. So I had this idea that everybody does these reverse canvas things. I've seen a bunch of them. You guys probably have too. We start by cutting the canvas. Well, everybody will put the canvas back on and use it as a frame. Well, we're gonna use the frame, but I'm not gonna use the canvas. Let's see if I can cut it enough to get it off of here. Hopefully it'll work. Good thing I'm not reusing the canvas because I'm ripping it. And feel free if you guys don't want to bear through all of this to um, feel free to go back and watch it later and fast forward through it so you can see what we're doing here. All I'm doing is peeling the canvas off right now. if anybody has commented if you have I can't see them there's nothing coming up on my screen hopefully I have the angle right let's see here yeah I don't know so maybe we'll get it figured out eventually so there we go here's our frame I'm going to paint it with some white chalk paint. And then I was at Ace yesterday trying to find some paint samples for my bedroom. And Magnolia Home has these new peel and stick paint samples. It doesn't say what size it is, but it's like an 8x10. That's what size this frame is. Dollar Tree, it's a dollar. This was $1.99, that's what it looks like. It's in the right next to the Magnolia Home Paint samples. I also picked up some of these that we're gonna use. And I printed off a little bunny rabbit from the clip art on Google. Trace it out on cardboard. And we're going to cut him out of here. Dollar Tree, some of my favorite places to get craft supplies. They have these new adhesive cork sheets. It was in matte tune. I'm gonna use that as the backing instead of the canvas. So here we go, I'm gonna paint this first. I have really no idea if comments are working or anything like that. I can't see any. Just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. If you do comment, I'm just taking some white chalk paint, paint here, all over it. I'm gonna do it kind of fast, but this is gonna be a little Easter thing. Thought about doing something for Valentine's Day, but it's too close to Valentine's Day. You wouldn't hang it very long. So I'm ready to start getting ready for Easter. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I tried my best to get the angle right this time and hopefully that will work. And hopefully you guys can hear me. I have no idea. If this one doesn't work, I need to just give up on the videos altogether. I just had this idea and thought 
might be fun. If anybody else ever uses these, you can try try it too. I'll be your guinea pig. I'm gonna get inside the frame. And the reason I'm doing the frame first is so that we can work on our other stuff while this dries. I brought a little sanding block with me so we can scuff it up a little bit. I might, I might not, we'll see. And hopefully this doesn't take me forever. So like I said, this is, I've not done this before. I just happened to see them and that cork stuff looked kind of nifty. So I thought I'd try it. We'll see what happens. Okay, almost got the frame done. Oh, hey. Hi, Jody. Yes, okay, so I can see comments. Thanks for doing that, because now I know I can see them. Okay, almost done. Here we go. And I don't think this is going to take very long, because I tried to get it ready. Okay. It's all white, painted white. I'm just gonna set it to the side, get it out of the way for now, and I'm gonna kind of wipe up the little chalk paint mess so I don't get it on the bunny rabbit when we do it. Normally I get paint all over my counter, but this time I decided I would not do that and make it less of a mess. Okay. So next, I'm going to take this little bunny rabbit and I forgot a pencil. So I'm gonna use this little Sharpie deal here and I'm gonna trace it on the back so you don't see my marker everywhere. And this whole project probably costs like one, two, three, four dollars. It'll be something you can set on your shelf or you can hang on the wall. Oh, good. Mom says it's working really good. So I got, I figured out how to do the angle, I guess. That's good news. Okay, here we go. I traced the little bunny. If you guys want to do this, just get on the Google um, Easter Bunny clip art, print it off, and it's easier to trace on a piece of cardboard. You could trace on your paper, but the cardboard is just a little easier. Okay, here we go, cutting out the little bunny. And I had thought about, had another idea, and you guys might want to try this. I cut out a little heart shape. And once I get this put together a little bit, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about more. But you could put Velcro on the inside of your frame and change out your heart to an Easter bunny or any other kind of decoration you want. You could make it to where you can leave it up all the time. That's a really inexpensive little shelf decoration or a little wall hanging for your wall or you could put a ribbon on it and hang it up on your front door. And what's really cool about this is that it's self-adhesive. I was looking for paint colors for my bedroom, and I saw this and I thought, huh, I can use that. So I did check it for a paint color for my room, but then I decided to save it. Have any of you guys on here ever used these Dollar Tree canvases? If you have, let me know. I have not. 
you might have better ideas than me. Most likely because I just thought of this and don't even know if it's gonna work. All right, so the next step is, let's open our little cork board here. And our frame is probably not completely dry, but it's gonna be dry enough. And the frame is an eight by 10, so I have my handy dandy little measuring thing here. It says this is just under eight inches. And this right here is at 10 inches. So I'm gonna cut it there. And we'll see, hopefully that will fit. Like I said, this is self-adhesive, but I'm not going to use it as self-adhesive. This is going to be the backing of the frame. And, eh, it's not completely dry, but it's good enough. Let's see if it'll fit. So, I need to trim it just a hair here. I didn't get it even. Because I want the cork short showing, I'm not going to use the self-adhesive part, obviously. I'm going to glue it on. There we go. A little bit more. Not a very straight cutter. Okay. There we go. That's what it's gonna look like, our little cork background here. So I've got my glue gun. I'm gonna start at the top. We'll glue the cork right on the back. When people use the canvas, they just staple it back on and use it as a backing, but like I said, I wanted to do something different. So here we go, gluing this side down. Go ahead and put glue on the rest of it. Hope it'll stay. Push it down. So far, so good. It appears to be working. Okay, there we go. It's on there. There's the back of it. Now, I'm going to take the little Easter Bunny, which fits in there. And since it's self-adhesive, I'm going to use it as a sticker. If I can get the back of it off. Fingernails would help. Oh my goodness. Anybody with fingernails? Can you come help me? I can't do this. Oh my gosh, I got it. Okay, here we go. Then, let's stick them right in there like so. He's centered pretty well. I like the neutral colors. I can't remember the color of this. <coughs> I think it's called, if you like the color of it, oh, American Egg in Magnolia Home. It's like a greenish blue color. It's very neutral. Then I'm just using little cotton balls. I'm going to pull apart just a little bit. We're going to give him a little poofy tail. Like so. Put some glue 
here where I wanted the tail to go. Stick it on there like that. And I like it a little fluffy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Isn't that adorable? Super easy. Four dollars. That didn't take very long at all. Now, I have paint chips. If you guys want to get super creative, I got these paint chips. If you want to add a little bit of color, got this too. You can. Let's see how do I want to do this. Cut some little triangles here. Yeah, I'll do it like this. I've got five colors because I always want to do, or you want to do everything in odd numbers. Try to cut the triangles about the same size. Okay, there's three. If you guys are doing a craft project, don't don't forget paint samples. There's a lot that you can do with them. And they don't cost anything. Especially if you're getting ready to paint, hang on to them. You can do something. I have another project in mind that uses paint samples too. That I may or may not post, I'm not quite sure. Do you guys like these quick little videos at all? Got eight people on here. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Okay. So how about this? We're going to do a little cute little... Eh, we'll do it this way so you can see his little ear flopping. I am going to cut this. Like so, I'm going to glue it over the edge so you don't see it. Back here, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gluing it here on the back of it. So it'll drape over. Okay, well, I guess you guys kind of like them, so maybe I'll do another one. It's very nerve-wracking, and actually before I do it, I almost get sick because I get so nervous. Doing lives, especially something I've not done before, I never know if it's going to work or not. Okay. I'll trim those off after it dries a little bit, but there we go. Now we're gonna take our paint chips and we're gonna add a little banner. It's gonna be adorable. I may have to cut them down. Yep, I'm gonna cut them down just a little bit. We don't want them too big. Then it would look silly. Okay, so here's one little flag. I'm gonna put some glue on the back. Right there. Put it in the middle so I know where to go with the other ones. Make sure I get them lined up. Okay. There's one. Thanks, Andrea. Hi, Karen. Okay, I'm going to cut these other little things down. Get them about the same size. A little dot of glue on that. Almost done. This is this is a quick little project. Seriously, you guys need to go to Dollar Tree and find some of these little frames and the cork and play. 
even if you don't hang it. It's fun to just play. Okay, here's number four. One right there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Snip that down a little bit. Yes, Jody, I actually thought about that, but I didn't want to cover up too much of the Easter Bunny. And I did buy letters, and I have another project in mind to spell spring, and it kind of goes along with my paint chips that I was talking about. But yes, you guys could put whatever you wanted on here. And if you wanted to do a heart, you could do them and do like XOXO, could do love, whatever you want. I'll show you the little heart I have cut out. See, you could do a heart. You could do a cute little banner in red or whatever you wanted. But here you go, guys. It's all done. Is anybody actually gonna try this? Ha ha ha. Moving my camera up a little bit. Hopefully that didn't take forever. And you guys think he's adorable like I do. Super cute. Four dollars. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.